Sub Magazine. Hello, once again, I'm your host, Doc Rodden, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in theatrical and streaming horror films. Each week, the Gruesome Magazine Gru Crew will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we are reviewing Dr. Jekyll, uh, a new film from Hammer Films. Yep. Hammer Films is back. This is the first of possibly many films. All right, but let me introduce the rest of the crew before we get into reviewing, starting off with the one and only Jeff Moore. Jeff, how you doing, sir? I'm excellent. I'm excellent. Nice. Yeah, I'm only nice. one. I'm only one move ahead, but you know. Oh, <laughs> very good. Well, at least very you're good. ahead. Yes, <laughs> I, do, I do like your uh, kitchen setup. It's pretty nice. It's yeah, really, uh, I like well, the little for another fan. for another two weeks or so. Another, yeah, perfect. Also joining him this week is Crystal Cleveland, the Living Dead Girl. How you doing, Crystal? I'm great, and I'm definitely no moves ahead. I don't, I don't think that far ahead. <laughs> no, move, no moves ahead. Zero if I did, moves. I would lose everything that I was doing at the moment. No, mm -mm, no, no. So just be a train wreck on wheels, huh? Yeah, I mean, not that it's any different, but. <laughs> All right. Also, Christopher, joining us. Christopher's like, what is she doing? Why? Why? Also joining us this week is award-winning filmmaker Christopher, Christopher G. G. Moore. How you doing, sir? I'm a negative one move behind. <laughs> negative one move behind <laughs> yeah. everybody. We're slowly just getting. Yeah. You lost yeah. something while you're watching this movie. I, okay. I lost. Uh, <laughs> I definitely <laughs> lost something. I think part of my soul evacuated. Part off. of your soul no, I'm evacuated. I'm just joking. <laughs> that word. Uh, oh, yeah. Evacuated. Oh. oh, that sounds yeah. punishing. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Oh, <laughs> wow. What we're going to do is we're going to give you our first impressions of Dr. Jekyll. And those first impressions will be spoiler free. Uh, then we'll dig into a discussion. <laughs> and we will get on the spoilers. There are spoilers to be had. It's Dr. Jekyll. And then we'll wrap things up with our score of one to five and our share our favorite scene. And of course, we hope you enjoy not only this review, but many others that we have on the site. And if you do, please hit the like, subscribe, and share with the friend buttons. Every click will help us find more horror fans. Just like you. All right, let's take a look at this card and get things going. Bam! Dr. Juggle, uh, 2023, although it's coming out in 2024 in Hammer Films, but it did something in 2023. You know the deal. Uh, available on digital download beginning March 11th, 2024. The synopsis is a modern reimagining of the infamous, infamous Dr. Jekyll. Yeah, infamous Dr. Jekyll. Yes, yes. From Robert Louis Stevenson's 1886 novella, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It threw me. I thought they were talking about the story. It's not infamous, but the guy is. Yes, that works. Directed by Joe Stevenson, written by Dan Kelly Mulhern, based on a novella by Robert Louis Stevenson. The cast includes Eddie Izzard, Scott Chambers, Simon Cowell, Lindsay Duncan, Jonathan Hyde, Morgan Watkins, and Robin Cara. But don't. Let's find out what our first impressions are. Maybe Jeff Morser, you are up first. I kind of liked it. <laughs> I was okay with uh, Scott. Well, first off, I mean, it's a totally different twist, take, reimagining. This is really a reimagining. Um, but I was okay with it. Uh, as I started to watch it, it took me a while to catch on what was going on. Everybody else probably caught the cues quicker than I did, but uh, uh, it took me a while to catch on what was happening. Uh, Scott Chambers was a very, uh, the, the character he's playing, Rob, is a very uh, nervous and timid character. It's kind of hard to imagine his past, that he was involved in that stuff, because he seems very uh, unsure of himself, um, maybe just in that world. But I... <laughs> I enjoyed it. There's a couple of scenes that I, I liked quite a bit. There's not a lot of uh, effects except in this one spot, at least that I can remember. And uh, I felt like there was a few places where they were kind of going for the old hammer music. Mm -hmm. um, 
the uh, and maybe the decor, although it doesn't didn't live up to Bernard Robinson, uh, but it was but it was it was nice. Um, so anyway, yeah, I I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. Enjoyed it. He had fun with it. All right, Christopher G. Moore, you're up next. What was your first impression of Doctor Jekyll? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your butts. <laughs> well, there are moments where it's, it's, I mean, like, uh, there's a scene where, and this isn't spoilery, but when he's first walking through the gates and stuff, it's re some really beautifully framed shots. So visually it's, it's shot pretty well, but I, I just found the story to be one of the most boring versions of that story that's ever been told, which one of the stupidest re ways to turn into <laughs> Jekyll is just ridiculous. Um, uh, and I think it's just, uh, I didn't like, I think it's the protagonist is one of the most annoying protagonists. Um, and it doesn't really, it doesn't really get interesting until like the last 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and even the, the ending is just, yeah, I, I think it's I I consider it an unimagining because it's it's really not. <laughs> it it really oh. doesn't. It really it doesn't really. When they say reimagining, you're you're bringing something really cool and new to it, and there's none of that here. Uh, and then um, what's his name? Uh, uh, the, the guy who plays Jekyll. Um, Eddie Izzard. Eddie Izzard. I can't remember his name for a second there. Um, he, she. She. I'm sorry. Uh, she's kind of wasted <laughs> yeah I, I i really i just i think i think when i when i want to watch a dr jekyll uh and miss hyde a version of this i really wanted to see something more and 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 uh eddie's almost like just i don't know just very very i don't know monotonous or just very I don't know. It it there. It's there's just so fun. much more, you know. It's like you know, and you look at the other roles that she's played, you know, like in Hannibal and other things where she's yeah. really done an amazing job with those characters. And um, it, yeah, I, I I just found it to be, you know, I, I mean, I could sort of see the the, the big twist coming a mile away, and uh, and it's. You know, and they don't even try to like. I guess there's one moment where they sort of show like the whole like transformation thing or whatever, yeah. but it's it's more just in the head than in more than anything else. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think visually there's some interesting moments. Um, but overall, I just didn't. I, I just found it to be very, just very slow and. And not a lot, not, not nothing really happening. Um, and, and, and it's, I think there's always supposed to be some kind of uh, separation between those two characters. And it just, it, one is just, I mean, it, there's just not even enough of that there to where it made me feel sad for Eddie Izzard. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, 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 I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be other ways that they can do it, sort of bring the hammer back into uh -huh. <laughs> being. Uh, but I don't know. I don't think this is a good way to start. <laughs> that that this this feels uh this I, I think you might be better just watching some of the other hammer films because this feels this feels doesn't feel like uh I mean there's elements that probably feel like they're what they were trying yeah. to go for. But it's it's missing so many elements. It, it feels kind of soulless. Um, Ooh, ouch, soulless. So uh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> so anyway, I'm gonna stop yammering. <laughs> gonna st Dude. stop hammering on. He's, he's um, gonna stop yammering uh, and yeah. start hammering. All right, <laughs> yeah. uh, Crystal, what was your first impression, Doctor Jekyll? Oh, okay, goodness. so I I do see. Chris, I see how Christopher sees it. I, I absolutely see that. But I really enjoyed this. And I um, I think it's very difficult to take a hammer film, a, a hammer film, and make it in modern day. And I feel like that's actually what they did. 
but it doesn't translate the same as it used to in cinema. And, you know, there's all these other elements to take into consideration, like color and like the film not being actually shot on film, the look, the feel, because I feel like it has a lot of those elements like a hammer film would, but because it's modern day, it does feel slow and drags. And the story, if that, if this hammer story was told, you know, years ago, we would have been okay with the story. <laughs> You're okay with it. Cause you make it a lot of an allowances for, you know, when movies are made and how they're made. Um, so I see that and I do kind of appreciate it. I think I love Eddie Izzard and I love Lindsay. Oh my gosh. I think she's a phenomenal actress. I, I think she's wonderful. I, I do have to say Christopher is spot on with, I wish there was some sort of as, as great of as an actor as Eddie is, I feel like there needed to be some sort of differentiation between the two characters you know, like maybe even just something different physically that they could have done to help kind of solidify that because it was, it made it, I, I get what they were going for. It was supposed to be more subtle, but I think that it shouldn't have been as subtle as it was. There were some subtle. moments. Yeah, it was too subtle for me. And, you know, you can only do so much as an actor even to appropriately convey that especially when you have certain limitations, like the walking with a cane, there are certain things that you would always be able to do. So um, I, uh, hmm, it's a, it's a tough one because I did really enjoy it, but I, I see the, I see the issues. I see the issues with it. And I don't personally, I hate to point them out because I don't know how you fix that. I don't know how you overcome that because you want it to feel like a hammer film because that's what you're making and everyone has certain expectations, but it doesn't necessarily translate now. Does that make sense? Does that sound crazy or does that make sense? Like it makes total sense to me. Yeah. Um, so, so I did enjoy it though. I did, I did enjoy it. I thought it was very atmospheric and very beautiful. And there were moments when she really freaked me out. Like I love Eddie and the looks she gave sometimes without even I think there was like like just like that I think it was a little scary at points psychologically more of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know um yeah so so I enjoyed it but I don't think it's for everyone yeah yeah I, I think younger audiences may have trouble warming up to this um mm -hmm. I I for me you know hammer films is kind of like you know it, it's going to be like Blumhouse. You know, I'm always going to be rooting for it. I want, <laughs> I want it to come back. But, uh, and I like the ingredients of this movie. I like the mm -hmm. cast. I like the, you know, the the cinematography, the location I thought was really cool. Wow. Uh, the music really brought me back. I thought, like Jeff said, I thought they did a great job with the music. Unfortunately for me, I thought it was a huge mess. Um I still found enough to enjoy watching and experiencing it, but it's a, it's, it's, it's still going to be a hard recommend for me. It just, they don't, they, they don't really capture the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde element. It kind of falls away to the subtleness that we're talking about. And, um, but at the same time, Eddie Izzard's performance, especially at the beginning of it is, you know, you're, you're a bit glued to it. Um, but then uh, as the movie kept going on, it started to fall apart for me. And, and the more it got into all the reveals and stuff, the more, I don't know, the more it lost me. So I, in the end, I'm, I'm not a fan of this, but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> you know, it's not like they, purposely stunk it up or made a bad, you know, it just, the story doesn't gel for a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde story. It, it's kind of not quite there. And there was some, the, <laughs> I was wanting more special effects. And then when they used more special effects, I was like, please don't use any more special effects. <laughs> 
actually knew what I, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I knew I where you were, I knew where you were going with that. Okay, uh, wait, are we in spoilers? Well, you got, let's we... head into spoilers. Yes, please. Okay. Can maybe y'all can explain this better. Is this like a spirit? Or they they are saying it's more like a spirit that um because Jonathan um, I, Hyde makes a yeah. a a cameo if you will as okay. the original Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde way back when I think it was her grandfather right right and um yeah and the and the they refer to it as a sickness gets passed along right and then she wants to find a new home for it you or, 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 it or actually this... at a freaking cigarette which is well stupidest I, thing i've ever seen well i, I didn't take it as I, a I, I don't think it's a I cigarette picture, i picture it as like a yeah some sort of drug yeah, yeah but you have some kind of drug in it but... yeah but hey, it, i mean because that you ever, is how you, you ever smoke dumb. peyote or yeah i mean uh, there's you nothing do still, really out like, of the, out of the way for me they took uh, drugs or they took something to become yeah uh, instead of doing the beaker thing. thing they tried to modernize it and that that, that didn't bother I me as much that but modernizes just went yeah. down the toilet <laughs> at least they made it green at the end when you lit it up so well i mean well, yeah, I that, that was, yeah. it's a difference too in that they're not there wasn't a big visual difference there was a difference in the personal style between the two uh personalities or entities in this case um that I didn't catch on. They just seemed at first they seemed sort of uh you know, they'd blow up at him and then turn around and be real nice to him. Yeah. Uh and They're... it wasn't until later when I realized uh, certain things, you know, like the uh dressing up and putting on the lipstick and uh the nails, which were unbelievably <laughs> good nails. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I like that. I, and I thought it was effective. I, and I liked the transformation scene. I know it was weird, but I liked it. I liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, for for Rob? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. no. No, I loved it. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, that hurt. That was harsh. Um, I mean, I what liked the idea. I, it would look terrible. I liked the idea of it, but oh, I thought I it great. the effects, I don't know. They look like. It looked cheesy, but but this is this is Doctor Jekyll, the unreliable narrator, right? Because it's not really him losing control or her in this case losing control to the beast. It's more like the beast is there gaslighting us. Well, because you can't because they aren't so visually different, like in the original, mm -hmm. a lot of the earlier ones. Well, that's uh, this is more of a dissociative identity disorder. Yeah, than it is Dr. That's, Jekyll's story. yeah, yeah. And that's the well, problem. That's the problem. Well, I don't think it's a problem. It's just a then, different way of looking at it. Well, that's true. Yeah. It is a different way, but it, yeah, but that's that's something you do in the past when you didn't have the ability to do effects and stuff. It's like, and there's there's <laughs> it's too subtle between the two. So yeah, I I. <laughs> I mean, the, by the time at the end, you 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 definitely recognize the differences between the two characters. But well, even I then, will say it's too, like, the interview at the end, I did love the end. I, I loved really. I, I thought he oh, did really? a great job. Oh, I loved the television it. interview. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Was, it. I found it. I, I was he like, did, he was even I worse than being able to. <laughs> To pull it off. I was like, I'm done with this movie. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just, I don't, I, I don't even. I hope it. they don't make a sequel to it because that will. No, I mean, it was, it was, it was well, like uh, Elon it. Musk ramped up. I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't think. I, I didn't think it was like <laughs> yeah. Elon Musk like his... does all the same shit he does, only just not well, as then, amped up. Well, then know? they should have got an Elon Musk to play the role. Oh my goodness, hilarious! <laughs> hilarious. Um, I there are yeah. like. A couple of murders. You're going to have a hammer film and about Jekyll yeah. and Hyde. You're going to have a couple of murders, but I, those didn't really reward me for watching the movie either. At least as a horror fan, did you guys think they well, pulled their punches yeah. a little? Well, they didn't as show far it. As what? Uh, it wasn't gory, right. but uh, yeah. Was this a PG-13 film? I don't think it can be a PG-13 because you have full-on cut necks and. Being shot in the oh, head so you scenes. did see that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it was being stabbed in the neck because a lot of the blood is how 
how you, if you don't show the blood being red and other things, you can get away with PG 13. But yeah, this is even though, I mean, I felt it was still bloody. I mean, the last 20 minutes is when it gets all bloody mm -hmm. and they, they even flash back to the one woman who we kind of figured was. <laughs> yeah. But that, well, I guess what I'm saying is that there was no real suspense or horror to it. Right. It, we, there was, we know what's happening, but it, it wasn't presented in a way that, made me tense at all and then the well, final the final I, reveal didn't with who, who was in the mask didn't sit with me well well i mean i i, I think the part where he has the gun to the guy's head was very tense for me mm -hmm. I, even though you know where it's gonna go mm -hmm. i mean to, to me that that last 20 minutes or whatever that's when it, it or at least the 20 minutes involving that confrontation was only the the main part that i actually enjoyed that's when it got more interesting um, and that's when we got the more full on Eddie Izzard. I kind of wish we had more yeah. of throughout. Um, well, just I, him I, sort of I, playing I, with the the his victims and stuff. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure exactly. Maybe apprehension is a better word, but I had all the way through it. I had apprehension because they were such weird characters. You know, Eddie Izzard's uh, Dr. Jekyll and the kid, I never knew how they were going to act. I, I never knew Eddie Izzard said to, she'd look at the camera or, or, or be on the camera and, and you couldn't tell what she was thinking. You didn't know if she was going to go off on him or if she was going to like it or if. And then when they were, when she was feeding him uh, drinks. I kept thinking there's going to be something in this drink. Um, you know, when he jumps up from the chess game and stumbles, I thought, oh, boy, she mm -hmm. drugged him. But she didn't. Mm. Uh, but, but so I had that apprehension all the way through. I just felt like all the time that there was something going on beneath the surface. Uh, there was a hidden agenda, I guess, and, and trying to kind of figure it out and feeling for the, the kid, I guess. I, I do respect the choice that they made both Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde female. The, that they didn't go with the... Yeah. I mean, um, the well, I think Eddie crazy. was an excellent choice because he... Yeah. Because she... Sorry. Because she acts so well. Like, she is a killer. Like, she is scary. Like, there were, like... Uh, well, I'm going to give away one of like probably my favorite scene, but when they showed her in the doorway watching him sleeping, smoking, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not kidding you. That actually jacked me up a little bit. <laughs> I was like, oh God, I can't stand the idea of someone watching me sleep like that. It is mm -hmm. so blowing smoke into my room. <laughs> yeah. I, I would have like, woken like, up. I was like, why wake, is there smoke I, in my room? How would that not wake you up? Right. But <laughs> that the way the lighting. The light, the way the lighting was on her too, it was really beautiful. Like they lit her hand well and stuff. But I, I mean, it, I think even, even I, 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 as much as I liked it, I know it has its faults, and so that's why I'm like, yeah, I get it, you know, like. But I feel like they tried to do something really different and original, and and I applaud them for that. And I think that it worked in in a lot of ways. I, I kind of like the idea of the doctor or the Mr. Hyde character, the Mr. Hyde personality or whatever. Actually, we don't have a Mr. Hyde. That's why it's just Jekyll. So we it, we need to give we need to give the entity a new name. It needs to just be Hyde. The, what they gave it a name in the Sarah Hyde. No, Sarah the, Hyde? Okay. That was her name. Yeah. Was it? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I so, thought it was something yeah. else, but I thought it was Rachel. So, yeah. Or, or Rachel, oh, Rachel. Yeah, she, she, did, she did say Hyde is the last name though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They so, they they did call her Hyde, yeah. So Hyde is, I, I, I like the idea of Hyde being able to be put in different people. I guess it just expands the the, the universe and the character. I still need more of a differentiation. I, I still think even if it is like a spiritual thing, you, co you could exhibit physical changes. Mm -hmm. I mean, like that's what they, they do that with exorcisms and stuff. I, I don't know. I think there was, I think it was. Good. I think they probably didn't push it as far as they could have, though. Well, and I think part of the story is that you can't tell. I mean, yeah. that's that's part of the thing. So if 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 they had done, that's why it couldn't be Doctor Jekyll's sister Hyde, because 
Yeah. And you'd, you'd be able to tell. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I, I mean, it was just, yeah, it was, a, it was a, I'm with Crystal on the, uh, they were trying to do something different and uh, whether you think it worked or not, okay. Uh, but they were trying to do something different and they, they took a shot at it. And I think they, mm -hmm. uh, I like, I enjoyed it. You know, like I did, yeah, I did not yeah. dis. I get, but I get it, Christopher too. I get it. I could see everything that you see. I get it. I guess I, I just didn't enjoyed it you know, yeah I just let it go yeah yep. like the ingredients i don't think the end result it, it doesn't it's it doesn't feel like any jekyll and hyde traditional jekyll and hyde movie mm -hmm. i've ever seen oh for sure you know, so go back we just on the classic era we <laughs> yeah. just did the silent one with john barrymore we did the other one with frederick march those are incredible incredible movies uh this is not even in the it'd be like comparing apples to oranges because it's such a totally mm. different story. That's not what they're going for. So. Yep. All right. Okay, well, let's that's go. what it is. Story wise oh. feels more modern. Sorry. Story wise feels more modern, but the way it was told feels more hammer old school. So see, maybe that's why it's having a, has a maybe the film itself has a, like a disconnect. Like a, oh. <laughs> we needed more British character actors. In yes, it did. It did need, it need to <laughs> Character Maybe <laughs> make an actual oh. Jekyll and Hyde story. How about oh, it? Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's oh, there was a trip our, to the bar. A score, score one to five. Score. And our mm. favorite scene, Jeff Moore, you are up first. Um, I'm going to go three and a half on this. It's, it, it is a stretch in, in terms of a Jekyll and Hyde movie, but I think it's an interesting story, an interesting way of looking at it. And I actually enjoyed uh, Eddie Izzard's performance, and I enjoyed the kid, and I enjoyed uh, Lindsay Duncan, mm, I love and I enjoyed the uh, twist at the end. I did not expect to see who we saw in that, mm -hmm. although I knew something was going on with him. Yeah, they, anyway, he, he, uh, he was us. He was us. Uh huh. <laughs> favorite favorite scene uh <laughs> just 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 because you said that i'm going to take the transformation i i i oh, the well, hell out of it i'm I not like picking it, it. <laughs> I, I know I, that, and so i'm not taking anybody else's scene either <laughs> definitely <laughs> yeah. all right very good very good uh christopher g moore you're up next what is your uh score and favorite scene mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no uh i'll give it <laughs> i'll give it, it a 2.25 oh there you go oh, okay that's not yeah. too bad that's not too bad uh, i mean i i can't i mean visually i mean you really that that the opening shot where he goes through the gates and you see the shadow of the gates that's beautiful mm -hmm. and there's some beautiful shots of the house it's shot well i just think story-wise it's not a it's not a Jekyll story. I think it would be better to be like a split identity story than anything else. Um, and yeah, I think that it just doesn't work uh, for me, at least. Um, I just found it to be very boring until like the last 20 minutes. Um, as for... Well, title, I'm sorry, but, but the title is not Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's just Dr. Jekyll. So they're kind of like... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's Dr. still, a, it's yeah. still <laughs> imagining... <laughs> It doesn't um, matter. You can call it whatever. I mean, it might as well be called Split, like the movie Split. Um, um, I will say my favorite scene is pro I, I, I think the, um, I think, I think I mentioned earlier that when he has like his brother, when he has the gun to his brother's head, mm -hmm. I, I like that. I, I like that sort of that evil playfulness. I think uh, probably throughout the whole scene of confrontations, I thought was. That, that's when it got really good. And that's kind of the Eddie Izzard I kind of wanted to see with the Jekyll, um, the Hyde version of it. Um, so, yeah, that's probably my favorite uh, scene. Very good. Very good. Crystal, you're up next. You know, it's crazy to me that she is a comedian, but is such a phenomenal actor, actress. I, I call myself an actor, though. I, I hate, hate differentiating genders for like evil roles, like really good. I've seen a lot of comedians play really good villains. I think that's so interesting. 
Okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to give it a three. And my, <laughs> I said my favorite scene was the smoking, but I will admit that I practically cheered when the bird got it. I was. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, he loves I, you. <laughs> I, I laughed at that. I that was that was so, but in a positive I was way. Like, I was like, yeah, oh, I was like, oh, thank God, the bird is dead. Jesus, that bird bothered me so bad. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to you birdies out there, but woof. Mm, snuck mm -hmm. in a, a secret, secret favorite yep. scene. All right, very well. Uh, yeah, yeah, for me, uh, it's a two and a half. I don't know how else to say it. And my favorite scene, I'm going to say the chess game because oh, for, for me, question. that's when the story started kind of coming together mm -hmm. narratively um, as, as, you know, exposing, uh, you know, who, who Hyde may actually be. And I like the, you know, some important dialogue comes out during that and interactions and, you know, the conversation between them. And then like, <laughs> like you said, you know, is, is she poisoning him? What's she doing here? And, you know, he stumbles away, but, <laughs> he'd be better off if she did poison him because he gets beat up by those guys. But anyway, <laughs> so I like that. And then it what doesn't it end with like her dancing after that with the cane stuff? Oh, she does that whole yeah. I, I really yeah. like that scene too. That yeah. would have been my yeah. other one. So uh yeah, so again, Eddie is 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 right for this role, but I don't mm -hmm. know if the film lives up to the potential of him being in this role or her being in this role, excuse me. I agree, but I also still enjoyed it. <laughs> I mean, I, I will, I will, I will, I will, gi I will give it to him. I think, I think, it, I think, just hearing Eddie Izzard being a part of this, it, it would have been. I mean, I'm sure most people would have thought, okay, well, she's going to play male for this version, and female for this version, which would have been. I'm glad that they didn't do that. But but it, yeah. but I think that would have been mm -hmm. the obvious route to go with that. So I, yeah. I do applaud them for having you know Jekyll and Hyde being both female. Yep. Yeah, me I, too. I, I do. Because I think that doing the both, I was like, okay, of course, that's what you would expect. It's better not to have done that. Yep. And I I don't know. I just feel like it, they were close to something really good. They, they, that's well, they what were. I, that's There's what I, that's an opportunity there. I yeah. just yeah. feel like it didn't. Yeah. I'm with you. It didn't hammer it down. No, it didn't, <laughs> didn't quite do it. All right. Well, there you go. That's our review of Dr. Jekyll. Uh, check it out. It is available beginning the 11th of March, 2024. Mm -hmm. uh, and let us know in the okay. comments what you think. Uh, and are you looking forward to more Hammer films in the future? I hope so. Yes. I hope so. All right. Christopher, Jeff, Crystal, thank you for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the smoking. All it's so right. weird to see smoking. Uh, oh man. All right, with that, let's say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.